Welcome, woodworkers of the world, to the Swedish knife grip sessions. I'm using the Mora Kniv 106, and today I want to show you the scissor grip. This is a very powerful grip for re heavy removal when you really want to take away big ships. And I'm using the knife like this. Look how I'm holding the knife. I'm facing the palm upwards with the edge away from me and with the point in a little angle like this. So I can see my thumbnail here. And then I'm putting my fingers to my chest and placing the material so I have like a scissor when I'm looking down. Starting at the base and then slicing up to the tip. And you look at my hands, I'm never losing contact with my chest because I want the support that this gives me. And at the same time as I'm doing this, I'm, you can see I'm leaning with my body a little like this and then I'm opening up so I'm using my chest as a kind of leverage which is very efficient so I do like that and I can feel that my shoulder blades are kind of coming together and stops at the very back at the same time as I'm cutting this bevel is supporting down into the wood. So I'm pressing it really hard down to the wood. And then I can almost plane very smooth, nice surfaces. If I want to be a little more in control, I'm using my left hand's thumb as a thumb push. So I'm placing my thumb at the very corner in between the blade and the handle and then I'm pushing with the thumb like this at the same time as I'm doing this. And this is very good when I'm working back here on a spoon too. I can do like this and I can do like this. And very soon, in the next session, we will talk about the thumb push. It's done in two ways, so I want to show you exactly how these different ways are making a nice variation. And the thumb push is a really good one, so please join in for the next sessions.